Good morning, everyone. I'd like to welcome you back to Horse Branch Sawmill. It's uh, Tuesday morning here. Kind of cool this morning, but it's warming up. Um, I want to start out by saying I mentioned in a previous video a while back that we was going to do a giveaway at 50 subscribers. Well, we're at 48 right now. So I feel like the giveaway will be coming up pretty soon. Hopefully to be this week. Uh, just be on the lookout for the next video. I'll have it titled something like giveaway and something like that. And I'll make it noticeable for you. Uh, I'd like to start out today's video by saying thank you to all my new subscribers. And I got a few people here I want to give thanks to. Um, Burnt Church. That's the YouTube channel. Uh, he's been He's been really helpful to me. Give me some good pointers, good advice. He actually made me a video and posted it on his channel, telling me how to get started. Give me some excellent pointers. Uh, go check him out. He's he's got super good content. He sawmills. He builds homes and he hunts and I think he's got some fishing videos, gardening. Just it's a good channel. So go check them out. Uh, next one being Zach Odom Mule Logging. And he's a logger. He's also giving me some good advice. Um, I'm actually supposed to call Mr. Zach, but I hadn't got around to it. So, Zach, if you're watching, um, I hadn't forgot about you. Just, you know how things go. When, when it's a good time for me to call, I'm like, nah, he's probably eating supper or he's sitting down taking a break or. But just don't want to be bothered right then. So we'll we'll get together, Zach. I, I promise. But uh, go check his channel out. He he logs with mules, and uh, Zach Odom and Burnt Church are both in Tennessee. But uh, yeah, go check them out. They really good content. Um, the last one I want to thank right now is uh, Davidson's All Natural Gym. Um, he gave me a kind of a shout out on his channel and I got a lot of people follow me from him and I, I sure do appreciate that and he's got good content as well he, he saw mills and I'm not sure what else he does but I know, I know he saw mills I've had time to watch a few of the sawmill videos and they're good he, he mills with the same same sawmill I've got a LT35 wood miser so yeah check those three out Super nice people, and uh, if you not subscribe to them, go over there and subscribe to them and uh, ring that notification bell. So if you like the kind of content I do, you'll you'll definitely like theirs. They they do a whole lot more than I do, and they're a whole lot more knowledgeable with YouTube and stuff. So yeah, go check them out, and uh, also be on the lookout. Next video after this one, hopefully, will be about the giveaway, how we're going to do it, when we're going to do it, and so forth. So we're going to get into sawing. We're going to saw this white pine right here. Uh, this is the big end. It's 22. This little end down here is probably around 18, 17 or 18. It's eighteen and a half. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make some more one by sixes out of that. So I'm gonna stop the video here and gas up the mill. Probably shoot some oil on my rail and chain, and uh, I'll be right back and we'll get into sawing. All right, the mill's running, warmed up, gassed up, new new tank of water. Got my blower going. Uh, I'm going to switch over to the time lapse here just so you don't have to sit here and watch for five or ten minutes on that one log. Um, I failed to mention earlier, I'm going to put the link to those three YouTube channels in the description of this video. So check that out. And hey, let's get the phone. I was just thinking I haven't showed my my dust collection, but that's it. 
two horsepower, I think. I used to have it plumbed across there with a flat hose hanging straight down to the mill, and then it would run back and forth. Uh, I was cutting, uh, I can't remember what I was cutting, but it's the only, it's the only log that has ever gave me any trouble clogging this thing up. It was just super wet. You could take the sawdust and make a ball out of it, almost like a snowball. But it was, it was plug up right up in here. And I took it down and hooked it back up the way I had it for years, just this flex hose right here. Runs down and to the mill. That never gave any trouble. The same log that would plug that up came through that flex hose and up and in the in the blower and never gave any trouble. I don't know what it was with that PVC pipe that caused it to plug, but it sure did. So that's it. I got it mounted on my wall. That's it here with it. And it's on now. I've been running the floor. It might stop today. The only problem I had with it was the switch. I wired it to a light switch and hadn't had no trouble with it since. But it's been running since. I think the first video I ever put on YouTube was six years ago. And then I skipped six years before I put any more videos on here. But that first video I ever put on YouTube was of this very exact floor right here so it's been running for at least six years five sometimes six days a week and it came from harbor freight so the next one may not last 30 minutes but this one's lasted over six years but i just thought i'd share that with you guys looking for an option for a dust blower that time lapse out of the way I got one two three four five six seven eight right here I'm gonna get them on off of there see if I can turn you around without getting everybody dizzy We got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 out of that one. Plus, all those over there that I'm going to send through the edger. Got that stack right there that'll go through the edger in there. They're pretty wide. Some of them I'll, I'll get two sixes out of. Some of them I'll get a six and a three. 
And I'm getting close to having all the fixes done. I'll probably just run them all the three. I'm going to stop this clip right here and uh, we'll move on to something else. All right, right here, I'm going to do everybody's favorite thing. This has got to be, if you own a sawmill, this has got to be your favorite thing to do. I highly doubt it. This is my least favorite sticking lumber. Uh, this is 10 foot lumber. I'm only putting four stickers in it, just space them out kind of even. Because the guy's gonna come get it. He's gonna come pick it up in a day or two. So he's gonna have to handle it all by hand to get it off his trailer and put it wherever he's putting it. So I'm just staying in the middle a little bit of time. I'll send him a I'll send him an extra arm full of stickers to use and he can stick it the way he wants it when he unloads it. But as far as right here, it's only getting four. Like I said, that's not how you would want it stickered if you was going to set it up to air dry. You'd probably want one, at least three more stickers in that pack in each row. There, there, and down there. <clears throat> but he's going, to re he's going to restack it off when he unloads it. I think he's putting it in his workshop. But yeah, so far, we got him that many. Got 15 or 20 more back there behind the edger. I've got all these to go through the edger. Right here. Overlook my fans. Those are shot. Those, those go to the dump. Okay, if you made it this far in the video, then I think this will be the end of it. I'm going to edit this and get it ready to go up online. I'm going to get on the skid steer and go find some more logs and get them over here and try to get that order finished up. Um, like I've mentioned before, be on the lookout for a coming up video toward the end of the week or the weekend on the giveaway. Um, another thanks to Burnt Church, Zach Oda Mule Logging, and Davison's All Natural Gym. Go check those guys out. I'm going to put a I'm gonna put their link in the description of this of this video, so be sure to check them out. And I guess that'll do it for today. And I'll see you next time.